Okay, so good evening, everybody. Um, thanks so much for coming along tonight. My name is Katie Garrett. I'm a program Welcome coordinator everybody. for the Gold Coast Primary Health Network and work in enter. our aged care and palliative yeah. care space. Um, so I just wanted to firstly thank you to everyone for Thanks attending for tonight um, for, for this webinar hey, um, with deep so appreciation for just how busy everybody. you all um, are in general Thanks practice. so much for coming along tonight. Um, My name is so Katie Garrett. Off, I'm like a to start program coordinator and paying for the Gold Coast the Primary Health and Network and work in our aged care and palliative care space. Language region. Um, so I just wanted to firstly Queensland thank you to everyone for attending tonight. Um, emerging for, for this webinar. So for tonight, um, deep um, appreciation we for just how busy exciting you all are in general doing in the early intervention um, space to support so healthy first ageing. Off, I'd like to start um, by acknowledging a little bit of background to the land and the traditional practices in response the to the Royal Commission. The there was a um, commitment of seventeen point seven billion, and their elders passed committed to an aged care and reform package. Um, so and for tonight, that package, um, it included to share some exciting work that we're doing in the early intervention really space to support healthy aging. Um, so to deliver a little a bit of background to how we've got to many of the issues in response to the Royal Commission, sector, there was but also a, an opportunity for us to enhance integration between health and committed to aged care, aged care services within package. the region. Um, and so with that package, as part of this, Gold Coast funding PHM for primary has received networks, funding which to provides a really significant opportunity for PHNs that can to deliver a the coordinated response and support to seniors many of the issues in faced by the aged care sector, but also the an Royal opportunity for us to enhance uh, integration considerable portion of older Australians aged that were entering aged care region. facilities earlier than so they may otherwise. So as part of this, Gold Coast and largely PHN has received funding to specifically support early intervention or their inability to be able to manage their chronic conditions in the community. And support seniors. So our PHN to live in have undertaken a range of activities in this so the space, Royal Commission found um, that there including was working with a considerable portion with of older Australians that were entering uh, aged care facilities of, earlier than um, they may and also otherwise. Funding to commission to, and large um, to a lack of support for healthy which ageing um, we'll um, or tonight. their inability to be able to manage their so chronic conditions. So before I hand over, um, just a few so friendly our PHN have undertaken a range of activities in this space, including working with primary care with a focus on patients. Please just keep your camera. Or at and microphones off. muted, um, unless and also funding um, you're invited to participate. Um, several healthy aging um, questions, which you uh, feel free to um, use the chat um, feature at any time. So before um, I hand and over, um, just a few friendly housekeeping and it will reminders. Be available, so I think um, we're all pretty aware of that in the next um, few days. Yeah. Mm. Thanks for the last few years. So from um, here, I'd just, just like to make a few introductions. I'd like to extend a really warm and welcome to the guest um, speakers that have, to participate. Uh, have given up their time um, tonight. Questions, you feel um, free to use the chat um, um, feature at any time. Be aware of his um, work and then the um, event tonight is being recorded um, and will be available um, via our website um, in the next few days. We also have Joyce McSwan mm. online, who you may so from uh, here, also I'd be aware like of running and I'd like to extend a really warm welcome to the guest speakers that have given up their time tonight. She's here tonight to talk about her new frailty. I'm starting with Dr. Chris Bolin, um, who um, we also have Professor Susan Brandis from practice, Bond University um, from BMP um, Healthcare uh, Consulting. Bonya, I hope I said that um, right. Also have uh, Joyce Healthy McSwan Lifestyle Program, online, who you may um, and um, also be aware of um, running Gold Coast Health um, um, to, to pain to talk a little bit more about the better cardiac program tonight, um, to talk about Gold Coast Frailty um, Care in the community program. So from here, I would also have Professor Susan Brandis from Bond University's new Bunya. I hope I said that right. A healthy lifestyle program, um, and Amy Tooley Chris, from Gold Coast mute. Health um, to right, talk I'm a little mute, bit more about I'll the Better Cardiac so Program and Gold Coast Health's um, Mungali Clinic. So from and here, I would uh, love to hand over to Dr. To Chris Bolin, uh, um, and I will stop right, sharing. Yeah. It was smooth uh, sometimes. It right, here we go. Chris, I think you're on mute. Um, Right, I'll unmute and I'll put uh, now, my screen So up. thank you very much uh, for that introduction, there Katie. And, and so many uh, of you on the call tonight have, to the, uh, uh, we've got worked together either face-to-face -face workshops or area. we've been doing some virtual catch-ups in the because Doing What Matters Frailty Identification right, and Keeping Older um, People Well at Home program. And so, well, no, I'm going to do. So, I'm, thank I'm you very much uh, for uh, that introduction, uh, Katie. Uh, and and so, many of you uh, on the call uh, tonight, Joyce, Susan, and Amy, uh, we've we'll worked uh, together either face to face, uh, helping shops uh, or work we've been doing through some what, virtual what's available. In but the, I'm just going to give those of you that matters, haven't been involved in the program so and far just a little bit of information home program. about. Uh, and so, why bother? I'm not the main expert and why this program is fantastic speakers. 
the Joyce, really Susan, and Amy that, that we're all aware of uh, in the last five years. Um, there's been a you know, uh, 30% increase through in what, over what's 65. available. That's a good thing. But I'm we're just going to give those of you that haven't uh, been involved the aim in the program is, so far just a little bit of information about older age. Uh, and that's the really um, big why, sort of why, why the rest question is that so uh, this we all want to um, why this program live now? younger, longer. So, so we've got to actually to do really something about this. this that we're all and aware of more the last of us, five um, years. There's been a 30 percent increase way, in people over 65. That's a good thing. We're all living area. longer. That you've and, got um, um, the aim over is the national average of healthier uh, people over 65. Age. Loving and that's the really big sort of question. And the Gold Coast North, we all want to live 24 percent longer. So we've got to actually do something about over 65. And there's more of us. Lots of um, men yeah, aged 70 to 74, which is really way, good because it means that men uh, are very surviving longer. longer. They, that they you've got um, over the national average of uh, this uh, next people part of the life, 65 to 105. And the Gold about, Coast North, is it a healthy um, 24% uh, is it a good quality um, of the Gold Coast North region working, is over 65. Um, regularly and lots with of older men aged 70 to 74, which is really good because it means that men are surviving longer. This group they of people will be doing multi-morbidity, with their they come to see health. us a lot more but often. this next part of the uh, life, will, 65 to 105, you think that half of you got to think about over 65, is it a healthy but it's not that, it's just that they come more frequently than anyone else. As GP, the average 85 year old comes regularly with older people, this may be a lot about what's the impact of the practice so level. There's plenty of opportunities to actually multi mobilities that come to see us a lot more often. Uh, many will. If you One of the other think elements that half of why we need to be here is 65, but it's is not that, it's just that they come more frequently well, than anyone but else. One of the uh, biggest the average 85 year old comes around to Ruth about Hubbard, who's a geriatrician at the University of Queensland that I practice. With, uh, so the past, there's plenty of opportunities and, uh, to actually from her that uh, review what frailty is the most significant challenge to all of us aging well. In One the of the other elements and more of why than we need 20% of people over 65 will be frail as they age. But so I want you to think about that in your practices, sick according to Ruth. Hubbard, she's a geriatrician from University of Queensland that I've worked with uh, frail. in the past. And the majority and, uh, of this is a quote you, from her that not she says, frail started is the most coding significant challenge to frailty as a long-term well condition in, the community in your and more medical than 20% director or best people practice over software. software. It is something you can actually do. Frail as they we'll talk a bit about that. So I want you to think about that in your practices. Sick Twenty percent you need to be here. Fifty percent of uh, our older be people frail. over seventy-five. And the majority of or more medications, you, um, not so a big medication coding or putting frailty as a long very high condition in, in your forty percent or best practice. We'll have an EGFR. It is something you can actually do. We'll talk a bit about that in a minute. We'll talk and about that's pretty that important to recognise when a large number of people are on really clear drugs. Fifty percent of our prescribed people over seventy-five or more medications. So that nephrotoxicity, big medication burden, renal clearance issues. And I mean, this, this is the number one very high patient safety issue in primary care today in Australia. We'll have an EGFR less and than 60 need mils a minute. Much better at and that's pretty important to recognise in our when software. a large Otherwise, number of people are on really clear drug drugs interactions or are being prescribed the other big issue about uh, having lots of older people um, So that is that toxicity this and renal clearance is meant that this is the number one patient safety issue in primary care today in Australia. Who are and often we need to be much better at coding not even chronic kidney disease about in the interactions of their particular medication the and the rest of the person. The other big issue so about in the end, uh, having lots of older people and geriatricians is that who need to be thinking this about deep prescribing. Is we need that a lot of assistance from our um, colleagues, the pharmacists, single to do this as a team approach. Who are often unaware and or find out maybe more not even interested well in about the interactions of their particular so medication in the work that, and the rest um, of the person. BMP Healthcare Consulting so has done on the Gold in the Coast. GPs year, and geriatricians many of you who have been thinking about deep prescribing. We need a lot of assistance from our number one of course is colleagues, the pharmacists. Have enough to time. do this Remember, as a team in your practice pretty regularly. But and the big issues apart from time are that there's a lack of knowledge of so referral options in the work in that, that um, um, they just BMP Healthcare Consulting uh, has done on the Gold that Coast. Also mentioned that uh, many, many of you who have interacted with know the told me about the barriers that did exist. Frailty. For Number one, people who are living with time. frailty you don't have enough time. But um, they're in your practice. Patients are regularly not wanting to pay the big issues for money to see service providers. There's a lack of knowledge of referral options in our area. People use all of their Medicare funded visits. That you also mentioned that and there's nothing left over for the other. Uh, the referral options that have a big part did exist. to play 
for in older helping people who change the trajectory of frailty. Um, a of patient's course, my aged care is also an option, but their referrals take a long time. Service providers. And you've told me that the GP um, is often very not aware that many older people about use all of their Medicare funded visits when service providers get involved. So and there's nothing left for the other embracing have a big frailty play in helping us change the trajectory of frailty. A lot more knowledge. And of course, my aged care so is also an option. I'd like to introduce Mrs. Andrews. Many of you may have seen this in the video. You've told me that the GP is often not kept in the loop who is frail, how long and she's one of the twenty percent of our practice that we need to be involved. looking at. So these are big barriers to embracing my name is June concept, Andrews. Because I'm eighty-four. A lot more knowledge. This is the story of my trip. So I'd like to introduce Mrs. Andrews to you tonight. Many of you may have seen this in the video, but she's the character that who is frail, and she's one of the twenty percent of our practice that we need to be looking at recognizing early. Arthur couldn't help me get my off name is my June feet. Andrews. I had a nasty bruise over my right. This knee. is the story. Of I my wasn't trip keen to on hospital. coming into hospital. It started it one Friday me. evening when I had I a fall in the bathroom. My husband called the out of hours. There was no fracture, but some blood and urine tests showed that she was Arthur a little dehydrated and had a possible water infection. I had a nasty bruise on my right, right hip. Acute medical unit. I wasn't she was getting close to reaching the four-hour target. Me. It was also getting late, and the AMU was a safer place to assess her and right. get her back on her feet. There was no fracture, but some we blood and urine tests showed that she was a little dehydrated infection. and had a possible water On Saturday morning, she was seen by the on-call medical consultant. Before we could look at her mobility, she was getting close to reaching the four-hour target. It was also getting late, and the AMU she was not was reviewed again for place to assess her Monday. Her back on there is no feet. routine physiotherapy. We put up a drip, and gave her some antibiotic tablets for the urine. So we infection. couldn't refer her to the home rehabilitation. On Saturday morning, before then, she was seen by the on call. By Monday, consultant. June had been on before we could look at her mobility. The patient blood team insisted for three nights her to the first because she was deemed to be at high risk of falls. She was not reviewed the again had medically till Monday. There is no she routine was seen that Monday morning by the physiotherapy over the weekend. We got her out of so bed. We couldn't refer her to the, the home frame. rehabilitation team. My home ward then. is in the elderly care. By Monday, units. June had we'll been on either a trolley or a liaison service to other up. wards for three Although nights. We wished the because she was deemed to be at high risk of falls. And patients. the nurses had inserted a urinary The ward doctors and occupational therapists made a plan to get some more information about her out of bed usually be in the frame. And past medical My home history. ward is in the elderly I'm care June's ward. husband. We do on our best Monday, to I was able to get back into the hospital to see her on the ward. Wards. Although we wish I the doctors the there doctors had more knowledge about managing older patients. More recently, the ward doctors and occupational form. therapists and made a plan to get some more to information about June's usual ability that her blood pressure and past medical history. Very low when she stood I'm up, June's husband. postural hypertension. On Monday, I was able it to often leads to falls and faints in the older people. We stopped told the a couple of her cardiac medications to try and solve this problem. By Wednesday, she was able to stand with assistance. The, the physios came to, to see her, and the, the plan was made to refer that her blood pressure was dropping very low when she stood up in the local community hospital before going home. But it often not for the first time, and there were no community people. beds. We and stopped the 10th a couple day of her cardiac medications to try and solve this problem. Ward by Wednesday, beds for she was able to stand with the system. She was moved to physio and came to see her. Ward. And the plan was made to After refer all those moves, Mrs. Andrews had become in the confused and agitated before going home. She had another but fall, not for the sprained her wrist, there were no and now she beds. required two and by the 10th day to transfer her to the bed. The cardiology June ward spent desperately needed beds for acute cardiac patients, and up. she was moved to a winter escalation ward. Admission, the community After all those moves, back, Mrs. Andrews, Andrews had become no confused and agitated. And she had, she had, she had another dead. fall, she was sprained her wrist, to social services and now she required two charge dates to transfer her from bed. But the package couldn't be June's put in place till the following Tuesday. In bed, she went home with a three times a day care package. By day twelve, no clear diagnosis. The community hospital phoned back saying that she had no rehab potential. seven weeks and she had a discharge from hospital. hospital. She June was referred to social services now. with a target memory discharge date and on Friday, Friday coming stressed but the package couldn't be put in place till the following June Tuesday. ended up being admitted for respite. She went home with a three times a day care, care package but with no Mrs. Andrews never got back to her own memory impairments and falls.
We should have more care seven and support for older people after having discharged from hospital. hospital. June had and those services need to respond. Her memory was worsening, and needs. Arthur was becoming stressed. But the way we treated her in hospital and our difficulties, June ended up being admitted for respite home and home and home home. With so many Mrs. Trails, Andrews never got back to her own hospital. home after we her had to get this stuff right. We should have more everyone. care and support for older people like her outside hospital. Really, my and name services tonight, need to uh, we're looking at much Mrs. Andrews as a character, and really, we think but the way what we could we be doing differently earlier for Mrs. Andrews to actually keep her from have. that uh, so trajectory of decline? All of us over 40 are losing muscle, and then after 65, we lose it even more quickly. So really, we need my to be name thinking about uh, recognising Mrs. Mrs. Andrews at a early stage. Really, so let's just have a think about what doing frailty is. Earlier it's for Mrs. a multi-system impairment associated with this increased that, uh, little trajectory of decline. Such as All a UTI of that Mrs. Andrews had, uh, uh, and then over vaccination, the medication even, uh, change. Uh, so a little, we need to be thinking about so these are little, little things that are early stage. So let's just have a think about what frailty is. It's a multi-system impairment. Um, if you're frail, it's with this a increased big, big drop to little in your, stressors, um, such as a UTI uh, that Mrs. Andrews resilience. had. And um, so it's COVID recognized by having medication three of the five, change, at least three of the five, uh, a little um, uh, weight loss that so is these actually little unintentional. Things you saw are, Mrs. Andrews was a big lady. The more she may not have noticed much weight loss. Aging health, but things like um, weak, if you're frail, uh, strength, it's a feeling big, more big tired and exhausted, your, um, um, not being very uh, physically uh, resilient, resilient and walking and so slowly. And so it's recognized by having three of the five. And so Linda Freed, who's a geriatrician, lost that is actually unintentional. You saw Mrs. Andrews was a big lady. But she may not have noticed, noticed looking for, much weight loss. Uh, but to things like recognize weak, frailty, uh, grip three or feeling more, more those, tired and um, exhausted, uh, um, not being very symptoms, physically active, uh, and what we need slowly. to actually These are the key Mrs. Andrews features. is likely to be frail. And so Linda Freed is a geriatrician um, three uh, from Canada in 2001 described this. And it all relates to this worldwide mass. That's what we need to be looking for to actually recognize frailty. We've seen three or more of those. We need to think can we do something differently two years before? For this uh, video, what or even earlier, to when say, right, people Mrs. are feeling Andrews that slowing down. To be and we can have and a new conversation um, three with out of our older people, people by recognizing this loss of muscle mass. They, that, it's uh, never too late to build muscle for them. So the evidence maybe is that we've seen this slide people before, are mildly we need frail, to think, can, can we do something differently to be stabilized this video or even earlier when these are clear people are feeling that slowing the down age and we could have a new uh, conversation guidelines which uh, with our older Australia people in 2017. by recognizing that and there they got a lot to like three on there that uh, essentially we need the to be using validated that, uh, measurement people are mildly frail it can be reversed moderately frail silver book can be stabilized general practice for the deterioration and these has put out Four or five editions, the, the last Pacific edition uh, uh, guidelines three years ago brought into Australia and talked about frailty for the first time. So and if you want to know a lot more about the frailty, frailty there, that um, uh, essentially we need to be using validated look at measurement the online the silver frailty. book. There's a great it's section really interesting. on frailty. Um, and the nutrition. silver book from the College of General Practice, which so we really uh, need to think about uh, an older person has been living with four or five editions, the long last edition, uh, rather than three years ago, actually today are talking about frailty for the first time. We can do it in our practice. If you want to know a lot more about frailty, Early, um, just like RAC diabetes, RAC diabetes and have a look in the online care book that there's a um, great section where we can frailty actually support Mrs. Andrews to understand what she so needs we really to need do to think about an older person living with and what is her long -term choices condition are, um, rather than this planning chaotic her wellness for the next care that Mrs. Months. Andrews and went through. So we can do it in our practice by what real identifying it and really doing it in our practice, not in a hospital setting. putting in proactive care. So you've all um, seen the where frails we can actually scale. support Mrs. Um, Andrews so to understand what she needs to do to help improve her lifestyle and what her choices John Morley's frail with planning her wellness for three or four months and five or more. So getting her to think about what her real goals would benefit from doing it our physical activity, not a medication a review, addressing so all the things of frail fatigue. Gail, um, um, looking so at uh, too much detail, detail, but protein those of you that and uh, have not seen this, it has a benefit uh, John for their muscle health. frail scale, but uh, if people score three so or out of really, five really, if you want to make a more, difference in the care of people, are frail, I, I ask and, you to uh, think about this for 20% of people that are in your practice that have frail Let's identify it, and let's do something about fatigue. 
In the next couple of days, um, uh, you'll see that there are some referral options on from our providers that are going to talk about in a moment. It'll be on the Gold Coast Primary Health Network's older so, person's web page. Really, if you want to make a difference in the care of people, information I, about I ask you to uh, think about this 20% of people but, uh, that are that's in your from me. that have and, uh, frailty. Let's Katie, identify. I'd like to hand let's over to... About uh, um, in the next the couple speakers, of days, I think uh, um, you'll Susan see that there are some referral options or, from our providers. Um, no, sorry, Joyce about is our moment. next will be on the Gold Coast Primary Health Network's Older Persons webpage, and you'll find information about uh, their offerings there. But uh, that's enough from Wonderful. me. And uh, okay, Katie, I'd like to hand my... over Oops. to uh, um, the yeah, speakers. Okay. And I think uh, Susan is speaking next. Or um, No, sorry, Joyce is our next speaker. Perfect. Okay. Thank you so much for having me. And, Wonderful. Um, great okay, introduction, Chris. My... Um, it's a delight oh, to be able to present something different with the PHN. So we've been, some of you might know myself or talk to us or refer to us, um, but um, Painwise is my Perfect. organization. Okay. And Thank you so much for having me. Um, um, great introduction, network, Chris. Um, since, well, um, it's been it's 10 a years, we just clock be able to present which is quite something different. amazing. So, with we're the quite PHN, aware of, um, so we've been, some of you, you might know, know how to run primary care programs, how to report on them, um, um, but how um, to collaborate with the organization and we've been working with the Gold Coast It's been awesome to network. Um, since, you know, well, it's kind been of requested 10 to years look at developing clocked, something which is quite to care amazing. In the community. So we're quite aware um, of, interestingly, um, even in you know, the system how pain to space, care programs, we have a lot of patients who actually um, to collaborate this, with the greater uh, primary health care issue as so well. And it's been awesome of to um, their pain, be, we sometimes you know, communicate kind of back back to our to doctors look at developing something for frailty care in the community in some way to to um, what we already know, that even in the pit also has pain so very space, unique, we have a lot um, of set of identifications. So uh, let's come so across here we are. So uh, this, tonight, this issue as short well, and by bought, virtue of managing um, their pain, just tell you quickly a bit about that back if you don't know us, and then so also it's more importantly that the program. Different. So in, in some ways, we're working to, with um, to what PHNs we already know for our that last ten years, and we've actually had models of care also elsewhere in Australia. Set of identifications. We work on an interesting mix of models, which has been recognised by the Short Term Productivity Commission. Um, to be just a very tell you quickly a bit about uh, ourselves uh, uh, if you don't know us, and, and then also healthy, more importantly about the program um, innovative so way of working, working with, so that um, you know they PHNs get for the for their for 10 years and we've actually had models of care also care. elsewhere in Australia what's important um, is that we, we work on an interesting mix of funding models which is a recognised by the Productivity Commission collaborating and supporting primary health care both allied health and economically stakeholders and innovative way of working so that you know they get the for their bum allied health who have investing in managing care. so many things. What's important um, is you know, that we are very focused on the whole person centered, right through centered to really complex care. And so, collaborating in terms and supporting of the primary health care cornerstones of the health and our medical program, stakeholders, it's and really important, really, I think, think before we sort of launch into all the surveys, our GP, just to highlight how you have to be. Be managing value, so many things um, of where we're coming um, in from you know, in a program from like this. Cough and cold um, sometimes. So it right is highly really complex based. care because so this, this in terms group of, of people. The Really, really require of the you know, a lot of patients. Program. Um, it's really and, important, uh, I think, before we sort of launch into all the service offerings, because we're not going to just get them in a very well state, which is why we're here. Um, so where we're coming in strongly from based a program on like this, very uh, much whole person so it is approach, really so that we are based after because these different this facets that I'll show people you in terms of what really, is, really um, require you what know, is a lot of patient trajectory um, to their and, uh, progression uh, if we don't manage it early. Because it we're not going to get them in a very well state, disease which is focus, why we're here. Because, so I think you know, strongly based on compassion. Without saying that very they much have whole many comorbidities, so that we are but it's very easy to focus on the different facets that I'll show you in terms of KPI what is, and the measure um, and what, what is a poor trajectory that we also must to their which this program will be if we don't manage it early. What it is very much matters to them. You know, what does it mean to them? To be because is it out of I think condition? you know what's their it's, definition without of saying function. that they have many comorbidities. So goal setting, but it's very even easy in to that, focus you know, on small that disease in early days. Is really 
and empowering and important because I can we only have to do all that. that we also and must be mindful actually with before pain, pain, I did, um, in terms of how many years what, ago, what uh, I think before, them, you know, what does 20 years I've been pain to be world functional, is it in aged care consulting in the regional areas? So it's almost going back goal circle, even in that, you know, it was very important in the early days, is really empowering and important because I can only independent. So collaborating with partnerships, actually, the model is based on collaboration. Based many on years our, ago, uh, uh, I think before model 20 years well. I've been in pain and of course, world, before um, then on stage and consulting so in the regional the areas. Right, so it's um, almost going evident and also the, um, and the right tools. It was very important to for, understand um, um, monitoring what, what it and assessing and identifying independence. So collaborating so, with partnerships, pathway, the, the model is based on collaboration, like based this. on our, if you follow through with me, model as well. Um, and of course, it was going to be a referral process to remain consistent with current evidence and also the Bolin has the, been um, the right working on this project for, with the uh, uh, monitoring health stakeholders and here. And identifying. We'll be remaining consistent so, to the front scale, of the which is very easy will to look use a lot scale. Like this. And it's if a really follow good through with um, me, initial um, awareness one, identification is going to be a referral scale. process. To within the program itself, we will. We, this is for um, the everything that Dr. Bolin has been working on. We will project with the scale from health stakeholders here, just for our main internal consistent to the monitoring. Which is a very easy to use scale. Uh, so we'll and be using some of those really other good, validated um, scales. But to keep things simple, on the website that um, within our program uh, itself, before, we will, this is for the, the referrals. GP referral the and where itself, we will know, be able to get some um, scales like information sheets. Well, that's just for our own internal um, so monitoring. It must be GP signed off for this program. So we'll be using some of those and I'll go through the eligibility But to keep things simple, on the website that the allied health will on the, on where the we've chat got tonight, the GP on the referral tonight. and where you'll like you know, be able to get some refer, um, because sometimes information sheet, you're going to well, the that's where you're picking the, the referral form. On this, so it, it must um, be GP you know, signed off so for this program. Physios, um, and, and I'll go through the eligibility criteria shortly. You However, know, you will be seeing some the of these patients. So health there's allied health on the, on the GPs and then the send the form. With the patient or send it directly to because the GP. Sometimes you're going um, to be the one and then that way the GP can get a on sign off. This. If um, for another, you know, frailty, any, sorry, so for any reason, especially physio, forms come into us and they're not even signed by the GP, you know, you will be seeing okay. some of these patients. As long as so we know feel free who to remind the GP uh, and course. then send the and form we can follow with the that patient up, or send it directly to the GPA. The GPA. Um, some workload and then that way the GP can get a sign off. If for another, sign off. Sorry, if for any reason that the GP forms come into us and they're not signed by the GP, we want to participate as long as we know not independent the of is. the medical staff, uh, especially for this code, we can follow patients. that up. And we do find from our previous weeks in pain some that workload patients do tend to comply more when they know um, the GP can sign off. Authorized that and approved said, it, which that is GP sign good. off is really, so really important happens, they'll come because um, we do want to participate and um, we'll not independent the of the medical staff, so that'll tell staff, us whether they're low, moderate, or high risk. And we do find from our previous provides in pain that so depending on the risk tend to clarify more when they know they that they will GPs get one of these authorized three and approved um, it, which is things, very good. And they, they so then what happens if you get this or you don't get um, these? To triage, we will and um, see we'll where the patients are at. We'll see their priorities. Us whether they're low, moderate, we'll see what their capabilities are and then what and um, provide from certainly there. provide. So depending as on the many of these patients, they will get one of these four, three things are really important. They're not exclusively get this or you don't get this. We will uh, Dr. Bolland said before see where the about patients at the we'll prevalence see their priorities, of um, we'll see what their capabilities are, medication non-compliant, and, um, that's certainly really important. So we will many have of these both first in my error, service, this medication for, review first for, and um, um, things are really medications review. So medication well. review so that the patients uh, can as, go to the uh, Dr. Bolland said before and about now, the GP, prevalence of the home um, medicines medication review, you'll be quite familiar with that medication non-compliant. And from a Medicare perspective, really important. Important, um, so we'll be able to claim on that service, as well. So we may be asking review an additional and, referral for um, that home medications to review as well, um, so that the patients can go to the. So we will have home. specifically uh, now for a GP uh, specific collaboration. Home medicines review. Some HMR pharmacists. 
and from um, a Medicare be aware of how this program um, works. You'll be able to claim on that, that we as will well. also so we may be, be looking at additional um, providing progressive for resistance that training to now our as we know that's really important um, for building muscle mass. Um, so, so we will have, again we will have to uh, uh, structure what that specific collaborations like, whether it's with some HMR one, one, one initially or whether it's group based. We'll be aware of how um, this program and then of course works. a nutrition review as Separate well. Separate to that. Now, we will also said, be looking some at of these um, providing can happen in individual training. It's a very personalized now, as we program, know, that's so really important for building everybody into such so a So, again, we will have to um, structure they what that program looks like, whether it's in parallel, one of the options to go to, or whether it's group based, um, um, self management, and then, of course, a nutrition review as well. Now, they will usually be kind of some of these things can happen in individual because it's a very personalized program. So, we want to be putting everybody into and they're also socialized, they're not really because isolation is certainly they a do huge also um, have risk factor they'll be as we know to go to group based um, they'll make friends men, self you know, so having programs that, which will conduct support. now they will usually with each other be as kind of from the clinicians as well movement group we program hope from there well. so while um, they're moving that they're from also there learning, there's the potential and they're also socialising because of peer support certainly that will be sort of um, risk factor by the, as we the know for counting, but by and they'll large something that the you know so um, having that, that, that can actually you know foster the with each other as, as, as well as the getting well as well. So we hope from depending there, on the risk categorization um, as well, some of them the will need home based services. Grow. So there is peer to peer support for mobile that will be sort of or and as I said, the home medication review, the clinical team, and also but any by and large service that the now this um, is not for everybody can actually um, you know foster themselves for the high risk of getting well and they might so the risk might reduce on the risk as categorization get, as well. well some of so them will need home based services so there is funding the way for mobile well. physios um, or we NSIC will also be able medication to review and also going to their home service the model now, also allows everybody us to refer them um, but to our for the high um, existing folk uh, contracted and they might, their risk might reduce as they team which consists well, of so that may change or um, review them the way as well um, um, and to we certain will degree, also be able to with the psychologist to their home, though, the that model will also allow us a mental to health care plan. To our, so while we have um, team members whom we collaborate with, uh, the funding of the disciplinary team, or, which consists um, of psychological services, um, individual ones, physiotherapists, um, we will ask the prescriber um, and to, to a certain the, degree, uh, psychologists. Referring under with the psychologist part, plan. though, uh, that and the patient might will already be have some of these members on board. Plan. In which case, so while we, we don't want any members who we those, collaborate, so with, the assessment the funding really doesn't fund and drawing for up that, um, individual clinical really services and not forgetting ones, that we will be communicating um, all of the prescribed back to the GP as well, and including there any other allied health. Team uh, and the patient might already have some of these team members on board, um, in which case we don't want to duplicate um, those. It's going to be so the assessment's really important flow. and then drawing up that so individual plan is really important. So we hope all things going well and not the patient will be that with we will be communicating for, um, all of these somewhere between four to six months as well. Now, um, including there any other so we hope after team members. That, that's, that's what we currently do now anyway. It might be really useful um, because that, we, keep, we can keep a distance um, high then. It's, it's going to be following on them that on very that similar and see flow. how they're going. So we hope and of course we'll all be things going well. You know, the, the patient will be with us for um, um, somewhere between four to six on months. On discharge, of course, now, we will be providing a, uh, so some feedback to the that, doctors. That that's why our peer to peer support group might be really useful. And then we hope because we can keep a distance high then on them on that and see how they're going. So as I said, the four key. Um, we'll be measuring uh, objectives, you know, our results, results training, post, uh, nutrition, um, medication management, mental health awareness. Of course, we will be providing well. a uh, so that's done feedback to the on a individual basis know as well as a group base. And then we hope that they'll also continue it's based on peer risk categorization support. Afterwards. So that you know what the right so for the right said, person the four key, and for the right um, time. Uh, objectives, so our resistance training, everything will prioritize nutrition, medication management, mental health awareness, order support tools as well. So that's done. As I said, what do on they a individual what basis to them? Well so I think base. that's basis um, on a compassion based on risk categorization. So that you know, it's very the focused right program on the right respecting person, um, and for the right what time. People would so it's like, not to say they need to do uh, everything to do within the framework of for what's right on navigation for as well. That, for so the all the material and again, and write ups what and does, our, you know, what do they whether want? Whether it's course material or to them. So I think that's available on a compassion based prepared person centered approach. Of course, we're focusing on that. Um, on that psychosocial needs assessment um, as well, what people looking at where they're at there, like 
doing uh, the multidisciplinary do, service, wraparound service, our navigation as needed. So as we're not well. going to overwhelm. So all the materials um, and prioritize and, our, you know, um, and agree whether with it's the course material on or it, simple and then that's all. Of course, as um, I said, feedback available to and the team prepared, ready our to go. Our form is here. Uh, of course, we're focusing now, if, um, um, you're on not that familiar with the assessment as well, or looking at where they're at there. Doing the, the multidisciplinary service, way. wraparound service, we have also as built needed, so we're not going to overwhelm our online um, tool. That's a very simple calculator um, and agreed with the so patient on it. And then, very deep, of course, it's, it's, it's like just an electronic version the team of um, our form is here. This paper version, now, whatever if, you prefer, um, you're not familiar, familiar with the form, so you can calculate the scores. Complete, um, in the frailty form the referral referral way. Is up there we now, have but those who are familiar with the frailty pain program online will be familiar with this kind of form calculator. One so one pager, although this time we're just stretching it, it's just an electronic version. And of, then uh, um, you can auto populate and I believe it online. Prefer, it's there and easy the to go. Auto populate so the scores, then, um, like the RTF um, version, and, and, and the referral form put into your there now. But those who are familiar well. with the persistent so pain program, the PHM, will be familiar with this kind of that form. That is the um, where you one, sign off, one the page of signing off, off as a final sign off, and then the other scale can also and then you can auto populate and I believe online there is the auto populate version that the RTF version that you can put into your the gold so, software as well. Um, obviously, so, you know, at the risk of them helping us there. Into HK that is the, or complete the um, where you scale, sign so off, the GP signing off like. as a final um, sign off. And then now, the those who are at risk of um, frailty um, are unable to sign access their mainstream well services. So, referral. where they don't have private now, uh, private health services wise, already coming um, to them. Got to be a resident um, living in the Gold Coast. Um, private hospital program. Um, obviously, I don't know at risk of early doing frailty programs, to be honest. But if they already know what that kind of like. Now, those who are yeah, risk to do with um, more frailty, they'll be able to access to access mainstream the program. services for, so um, where they for now have private uh, lead. Uh, private health services um, already coming to them. Uh, um, however, in a this private is hospital. Sorry, well, this is a, I this may know, include but too many doing too. frailty right, programs. So of course, all these folk uh, but very welcome already in some kind um, of ages 65 um, plus uh, uh, older persons to and do with private health care. They'll, 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 they'll won't be able to come Islander, to the program 55 for um, us for now. Well, uh, okay. Indigenous. Now um, the exclusions are. However, must not be under care services. This may include, but not because that's not what we. Of course, all these folk of doing. Very welcome. And of course, not um, living in a res plus, residential older facilities as well. Indigenous and Torres Strait Islander. Okay, so to match it up with the frail, well. to, uh, okay. this is my final slide. Now, the exclusions are, there. Um, to match it up with the you frail must not be under scale, palliative care um, services, a bowl and very, because that's not um, what we are kind of suggested, suggested that, that, that we match it up not with the frail scale, scale to stay consistent with that, and they to, to well. show you what sort of elements of the service. Okay, so to match it up with the frail, that will help my final slide, a couple of minutes some of these areas. To match it up with the frail area, of course, we'll be looking at bowl and very um, um, assessing for nutrition, kind of suggested that we needs. match it up with the frail um, scale. Of course, we will liaise with that the GP to about to show you assessments or so elements already of the done service and scores um, that will, will be offered that you will that provide help them to, to us so help don't manipulate some of these um, areas. So, in the we go along the area, way, of course, if, if one hasn't been done, we might remind you that one assessing for nutrition, medication, that with us, certainly, of course, we will liaise with psychologists where there's lots into assessments or if you've already done or mental or health support, scores, um, we'll that request, request that you will provide the them health to us so we don't duplicate. Um, but we can um, recommend as we go along the way collaborating if one hasn't been done, and we might remind you that where medication should contribute done, to fatigue, to share that with uh, us, drowsiness um, typically, dizziness, referring uh, we'll to psychologists through, where there's uh, the lots of green counselling required or home medicine support. Um, and that, will of course, be, looking said, at under the mental health seat. Kathleen? Now, the road um, but we can recommend is going certainly to be something collaborating we will follow up support GPs And certainly on. the so where medications it's not to say that we do the fatigue, review and go high uh, drowsiness, problem, typically, dizziness, and then go, okay, uh, we'll be looking at that Because the patient is with us for four to six months, it means it's a really good opportunity, opportunity to try and to support looking at care in adjusting some of that de-prescribing is going to be something we will follow up and support GPs on. That will include it's not to say that we'll do well. the reviewing because a lot of patients problems. will take um, and then go, okay, it may be unnecessary. Because a patient is without now, in terms of resistance, months, of course, it will be a really good opportunity at, um, to try risk, to support uh, uh, the care uh, in factor of the patient and then some of that deprescribing whether it's required a more weekly, you know, intensive, and uh, that will include the program they need as well. Or monthly. 
because a lot of people what they will take do. Um, and what they enjoy they doing. doing. So again, that function Now, in terms based. of resistance, of um, course, we'll be looking at our muscle um, health. So muscle health is so uh, important. Uh, uh, so looking at building on that and then from both an exercise-based approach, but more also intense a mind-body-based uh, approach program they as well. For a month so in, that the body depending is, on what they already do and, and when they enjoy it on, you know, again, that function based their muscles alone. Literacy that will maybe help. So muscle health is so important. Help the patient. So to looking really at building be on their that body aware, self aware, and exercise based forward, approach, but um, also really very much a mind things that they do do approach like as well. Independent, so that, that the they, body is um, is comprehensive. Of course, as I said, on, with you know, um, leg, ambulation recommendation of mobility alone, aids, to some that extent, will maybe um, where it but starts, that will be based on a physiotherapist or patient to really be very body aware, self aware, and move not from an OT based approach. Enjoy presently things that they do do, and one of our other providers later. That they'll yeah. have more um, of that covered. Want to lose. Um, of course, as I said, said again, on muscle um, health, ambulation, and that recommendation the body of mobility aids to some um, extent. Illness, um, of but course, that will be based on the medication or review or exercise will look across that from their comorbidities as well, from an OT based disease approach. Um, um, we will be following up one of our other providers on later that they'll have to monthly basis depending on their risk. Literacy, again, on muscle health, and I repeat that about the mind body approach, monthly, those are more high risk, they can be fortnightly. And they the medication review based visits will look or they cross that in person from their or even as a telehealth well, or even a disease. friendly phone call. Um, so we quite we will be following what the patient we can manage or on a definitely not checking a monthly in basis depending important. on their risk. Um, so those that are we'll more look at some other in the low risk, risk disease maybe services more monthly, that might those are more um, high risk that be fortnightly the patient and they may as well that either they or they might be or in person or even a telehealth or even a friendly phone call of other contributors to see what the patient can manage. Money integration, definitely. And of course, where weight is in concerned, there's um, no doubt we'll also look at of um, chronic disease dietitians services that are uh, already um, on our team. Support and the patient um, the as well that either they're already doing or not just having followed up with. And not just having I followed think that transacts with, as well um, on and so know, being oral health, health of other looking at whether they're swallowing, their, um, um, swallowing issues and of to course do with, with the, weight is the food. We don't have there's this pathologist no on team, inclusion of but um, it may be very much looking at the uh, who's already on our team to, to and um, the literacy on nutrition and not just as well. So as well on you know oral based therapy from looking at whether they're swallowing or not. Um, swallowing certainly issues also to do doing with the, potentially the food. Amino we don't therapy have a pathologist on team because in our high may be very much looking at the functional approach will to, to um, food. They will benefit from some of that um, um, supplementation. As well. so, so we'll advise that along protein, the way. Um, based and therapy of course, our foods is really important. important. So I um, hope that provides a comprehensive view of potentially amino acid therapy if required we're very supplementation because in our high risk patients there is evidence to say that they will almost all. Um, uh, they will so benefit where will we be? Bussy ladies um, and ladies. So we'll advise them along the way. And of um, course, community centre. With there is so outdoor hope that there provides that we a comprehensive view or um, overview some of the service uh, that we're very excited to. Um, we can on board with go to the northern I community centres, um, almost all region. Uh, so where will we be? Bussy ladies and ladies. Group and programs as I said, in person at Bussey Lake, um, community centre available, with or picking up the phone there that we will well. use for, um, and we do um, also have some outdoor base for the um, movement activity um, on the phone as well. We can go to the northern details. community centres um, right. in the Southport region depending I'm on done. demand. Thank you. And of course, thanks so much, Joyce. And as I said, in um, person, right. I should have said at the beginning, there will be an opportunity to ask um, questions to any of our speakers. Well. Um, um, and we do also the, have um, after our support tonight. for them. Um, so next um, up, we have Professor well. Susan Brandis from Bond University. Details. Right. Hello, I'm everybody. Um, Thank you. Great to be Thanks here so tonight. much, Joyce. This is um, a oh, right. I should have said at the beginning there will be an opportunity to one ask that's um, questions to, to any of our speakers um, towards the end of the um, session tonight. Um, so next up, we have Professor Susan Brandis from Bond University. The Faculty of Health Science and Medicine at Bond University. 
And I'd like to acknowledge Hello, everybody. Um, Professor Neil great Chapman, to be who's here also tonight. online tonight, who's this is an um, incredibly my, one of my partners um, important here initiative in developing one that's very close to me. Um, I'm an occupational university, allied and health, head of the and it's an interprofessional health and lifestyle program. As part of the Faculty of Health Science if we and Medicine at Bond University. Our program is, and I'd like to acknowledge this intense and active life who's also program. online so tonight. We're trying to use um, not the, one of my aging words, so it's about developing. And what we call the Bunyan program, Bunyan is Wise University Allied Health, and it's an interprofessional It's been developed by Bond University program. professionals, including occupational if therapy, we think about what our program is, it's a 12 week and dietetics, active lifestyle the program. So we're trying to um, use not the aging the work, so it's about psychology um, and, and potentially a medical student pathways. It's designed to deliver bi weekly goals. It's been developed by Bond University Allied Health professionals, including occupational. Therapy, exercise, or science, physiotherapy, to and nutrition, and dietetics. And as a university, the core it's by the latest um, evidence based research. So we've we'll had a number of our knowledge um, um, and potentially our medical students to make sure it's designed that to deliver a bi program is the very latest. health education and, and it's a positively framed around the Gold Coast readers and members that are risk of frailty or behavioral change theory. To so we're using that facilities model. And as a university, it's informed by the latest evidence based research. really, really core to my heart. Um, as an OT, um, in systematic terms of early intervention to make sure that what we've got so in the program is the very latest. So in terms of the program latest. goals, um, and, and it's positively framed around lifestyle redesign um, ooh, and jumping around your change um, theory. We've got a 12 so we're using that wellness on, model, um, which is around enabling um, so independence, which physical function, is really, um, really core cool to my heart as, um, um, as an OT in terms of early intervention, improved muscle strength, physical performance and functional capacity, and this is older women. Number two um, is about ooh, decreasing jumping risk around. Falls. It's um, a good we've got a cater of frailty mm -hmm. and loss Apologies. of independence. Um, um, so improving physical and, um, function. And Kathy Sherrington um, found that exercise interventions that included balance and functional training, reduced training risk of falls program, in the community, improved muscle strength, including those who were and functional capacity. The in third goal is about women, improving quality um, number of life. Number two is about so, decreasing risk um, of falls. It's a showing that regular exercise is actually of frailty and loss of independence in pre-frail older people. And Kathy Sherrington found that exercise interventions that quality of life and functional training, reduced risk of falls in the um, mobility, including those social who um, participation and cognition. The third goal Reducing is about risk of hospitalisation. So, I think that's um, an incredibly important. Showing that regular um, exercise that is actually trying to show the quality of life and pre-frail older people. And number five, and again, is about some really strong evidence about that. So, so measuring quality regular of life exercise and there's a lot of research function, on this that links um, mobility, exercise to cognitive particularly function, social but also um, the patient and cognition, depression, reducing risk of hospitalisation. Again, strong evidence around a 12-week program. Um, and we saw that with a case study that and showed us with training Mrs. Andrews. Cognitive function and, and number five is about improving in cognitive function. Older, so older regular adults. exercise, and there's a lot of research so some of our other goals is exercise to cognitive function, because we are but also a not for profit to university, even though we are a private and, university. Um, Again, it's about making evidence a around a 12 week community program that and very much focused on community and cognitive development training, improved cognitive and what's function called and consumer co design. So we've in come up with a bespoke healthy aging adults. program to support Australia. So some of our other Gold goals Coast. as a university, because and we are a non um, profit from the university, even though we are a private so university, it's structured it's as about um, making a three round to the demonstration project, very much focused on community development. We'll get and feedback from the consumers that we design in the future so program with design. A bespoke and that's healthy aging incredibly program important to support because the adherence to drop out rates rate um, in this population. And the input, promoting healthy um, lifestyles and trying to our increase programs, access to so health services. It's structured as on the Gold Coast. Three rounds so as a demonstration what we're providing at the um, end of each post program, um, program appropriate we'll get feedback from the consumers, including that will inform the future gyms, program allied health for individual therapy. And that's incredibly important and potentially social drop out rates in this population. This research promoting healthy lifestyles comparison between and trying to increase and actual to help the group programs demonstrate the better coast. outcomes so and part of those providing the um, will be capacity program that's built. Refills to appropriate um, local from a university point of view, we're very keen to develop other allied our health workforce. We are currently developing um, and potentially the social allied health and groups. medical workforce. Again, this research that shows so that they what comparison the program between groups offers and is the opportunity for our students to do their better outcomes and part of that is placement social capacity. 
yeah. built. And what that does um, is from a university point of view, um, we're very keen to develop our it's workforce. We are currently developing what we found over the COVID allied health and medical simulation training. So we would much prefer to provide the program offers to real is an opportunity for our students to do that. And what it means in terms of our future workforce is that our students are masters levels in IT. And what that does is complement external placement. They've already got a bachelor's degree, but it's providing authentic clinical experience. Is what we found over COVID. This program will increase the graduate awareness, awareness um, of what we would the much prefer to provide real services in working in primary health care. And what as it well means as in developing terms of our future workforce is that our students are masters and manage those IT physio, nutrition and dietetics. So a key component of our program is developing else. those referral pathways. And what pathways um, we hope is that this program will increase the graduate awareness of what the workforce in primary skills health care. Um, different skills um, and as well as developing those referral pathways. And what we hope is that this program will increase the graduate awareness of what the workforce in primary health care. And we all know that the adverse events have to be poor discharge. And one of the activities that students will be doing is learning how to write discharge referral pathways um, back to our health and that will be more back to GP back, sorry and so that will be embedded those competencies in our curriculum or communication from a research skills, perspective um, um, discharge we plan and to provide and we all know that the adverse events approach to the poor discharge so um, because we have one of the activities the students will be doing this one year on discharge summary too um, we will be getting health ethics, and that will be um, back and to GPs sorry and that will be processes in, in place in so that we can start to store data from a research with the vision that we will be um, able to we investigate to some of the antecedents and effective interventions and the consequences of this so in the goal because we have a very comprehensive assessment of the consumers on entry and that's that's a really exciting part Getting ethics, um, I was um, keen to share with some you because twelve weeks in place long, so that we can start to build up the data here with the vision really that we will be able to investigate forward. some of the antecedents and effects so of interventions and the get? consequences There's of frailty in the Gold week, Coast community and weeks. much longer. There's a one-hour and that, that's group. a really exciting the part. Um, I um, was keen to share with you because twelve weeks is long, but if we can build up a legacy here, we can really make a difference for moving forward. So, so what do the um, clients get? There's an two IT and dietetics per week and nutrition over and weeks. Weeks. Um, There's a one-hour education group, assessment. the education group, and um, what we're is looking at is on lifestyle changes, changes that are sustained by referral to community All of these programs are supervised by registered allied health professionals. I guess so our unique our point of differentiation is that we are an IT and dietetics and nutrition and ESA, but also um, the intergenerational pre and post clinical assessment that the evidence shows and what that we're those intergenerational gaps with the older people working with younger students also have continuing benefits for both. As required. I guess our unique um, point just to give you a bit of an idea of some of the interprofessional programming. But um, we've got also sessions what generational and it's approach will set their own goals. That the there'll be education sessions around keeping active, groups, strong bones, bones healthy eating, working understanding with balance, students. also has a very positive benefits for both. Had a future-proof your home, you want a nice home now, what do you need to do to make it environmentally safe? Um, just to give you a bit of an idea of some of the hobbies and interests sessions that we'll be offering. We'll be offering a brain gym. Um, we've got sessions transport and driving. One of the big things around for set their own goals. There'll be education sessions around keeping active, strong bones, healthy eating, understanding balance. Self care, a future proof um, home, and you want a house, nice um, home now, sleep what hygiene, to do to make it environmentally and safe. Home maintenance, technology, so and independence. Um, on what and feedback we get um, we'll from the clients will shape some um, of those. Transport and driving, one of the big things around front is transport and driving. Um, that's now a original area of so so occupational therapy is on keeping active, meal, self care, strong bones, um, bell and how to help with your home, sleep hygiene, and independence. And I got some really good feedback and suggestions on what feedback we get. Um, from the clients will shape some of the those The exercise we have already de developed is informed by these the modules guidelines for fall prevention um, and management in our older adults. Pilots, so we've developed and the, the exercise is on keeping active, to target the um, individual's capacity to maintain to balance your home um, and technology and independence. With a particular link as to how you do really that during functional tasks that are needed for daily life, clients, your activities of daily living. And that's quite the a unique exercise program is informed by the world guidelines for fall prevention and management of older adults. And the exercise 
into your daily routine. They develop to target the individuals they just like to maintain habits. balance. So that's um, when I talk about lifestyle redesign. With a particular redesign. link as to how and you the do exercises that during functional tasks that are needed for daily life, your activities are daily living. And that's quite a unique partnership between OT and individual follow-up. And one of the reasons exercises fall off at home is that unless they're embedded into your daily routine, and gait, they just don't become habits. And so that's when I talk about lifestyle redesign. Our professors and the academic staff in the exercise science program here at Bond individualised. There'll be both groups and as well as um. Um, individual follow-up for the next slide. Three intrinsic not like risk factors, muscle go. weakness, balance, deficits, and gait. So and stability. the service and setting this um, been will be at advantage. Our professors go. Um, and our academic um, staff in the for exercise those of you that are in the program Gold Coast, here at Bond University. Um, near the Rabina Stadium, you may have noticed the, that there's a big um, building going up between the Rabina so Sports the Stadium slide. and the Bond not Institute. Here we go. So that's the extension um, for Allied Health. So and we've the got some fantastic um, Will be, and that will be in September. Here we go. Initially, we've um, partnered with the Vantage Health Centre. For those of you that are in the Gold Coast, run at the Gold Coast um, Surgery Centre Stadium, you which may is right off there's a big building station. going up between for those the Rabina um, Sports Stadium and the Gold Coast Bond Hospital Institute, Institute of Health. Young people have so no idea where that is. So the um, for Allied Health, Health. and we've got and some then, fantastic um, Once we get that will be opening in there'll be opportunities for Initially, we've partnered with the Vantage Health Centre, so our groups will be run at the Gold Coast Surgery Centre building, which is right opposite the. The station. admission criteria for those is very similar to um, what Grace shared with Gold Coast you. So, age to be, a lot of young people have no idea um, where that Gold is. Coast so, really, um, they're living at home, not residential age And then, um, once we get rolling, one on the there'll be opportunities scale. for individual But also up, interested um, in other, other at-risk at things. So, those clients in this new might building. be socially isolated. You know, the admission criteria is very similar to what GP practice shared with like them. They so age of weeks or five. They're just losing um, Gold Coast their personal residents um, living at home, you know, not residential aged care facilities. Recent hospitalisation, um, the one on the frail scale. Well aware of the, the but also interested in other at-risk hospital so acquired deconditioning and the impact on the frail people. You know, demonstrating for self-care, they come into the GP practice and they haven't had a shower in a week or they're just losing their personal assessments of mood and of cognition with better brain gene. Well aware of the links between reasonable and hospitalisation and hospital acquired deconditioning and the impact on frail people. They do need to be cognitively and physically able to provide informed consent. Polyfarm falls nutrition. And physically able to participate in group activities and an immune exercise program. So we will have... Um, assessments um, and our of referral and form of is very much got like brain um, braces um, factored into the program. Um, I won't read out the rest. Um, the one is that is important is um, that, and that will be cognitively and physically able to the provide informed consent so um, and physically able for you to participate in group activities and, and you know, just exercise have to, program. Um, no, we've just got a, a different letter here. Um, and our referral University form is very much like Grace's. And we've got two key indicators. Here we go. Um, and that will be the Edmonton Frail Scale the and the yes, SF36 to assess so quality of life. For you to refer. In addition to that, we we'll just, just have to of um, other no, we've just we got a, a different letterhead with the Bond University the logo on it. So in summary, OT. And we've got two key science, indicators. Um, physio, dietetics and nutrition. The Edmonton Frail Scale weeks, and the SF36 um, to assess quality of life. And that's it in a nutshell. In addition to that, we've got a suite of Thanks other so much, indicators Susan. that we will um, be collecting all right, then, so questions to the end. The um, but next so up in we summary, have OT, Amy Tooley from um, Gold Coast Science, Health and she's physio, going to be speaking about the Better Cardiac Care Program and weeks, um, week. the Mungali um, Clinic. So I'll hand over to Amy. And that's it in a nutshell. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Thanks, Susan. Oh, Susan um, all right then. So we'll just leave questions to the end. Um, but next up we have Amy Tooley from um, Gold Coast Health, and she's going to be speaking about the Better Cardiac Care Program and um, the Mungali Clinic. So I'll hand over to Amy. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Can everyone see the slides there? Okay. Perfect, Amy. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Amy Tooley, and I am the clinical nurse consultant for the Better Cardiac Care Program, which is a new service to 
Gold Coast Health, which I'm going to elaborate a little bit about this, this afternoon, and then we're going to talk about our Mangali okay, program can here. So yes, both yes, of these services okay. are, part, are part of our chronic Perfect. disease and post Thank you. Good program. evening, everyone. My name is Amy Tillery, and I Health am the precinct. clinical nurse consultant for the Beta Cardiac Care Program. So first of all, I just wanted to explain our new service, Gold Coast Health, which I'm going to elaborate a little bit about. The service this started in October and then we're last year about our Mangali uh, program here. So both of these services are part of Part of our Australian Australian health disease and posted advisory council here as part of our Rabina government's precinct. commitment to closing the gap in life expectancy for Aboriginal people. So first of all, I just wanted to explain our new the program actually started in coming to the Gold Coast Health. In the service started in October last year. It was quite part of the national initiatives supported by the Australian Health Reduce Mortality Advisory Council as part of our government's commitment to closing the gap in life expectancy for Aboriginal people and better managing risk. The program actually started in Metro South at the PA and by coordination in 2015 and has now received so our multidisciplinary team for the Better Cardiac Care Initiative consists of so the program aims to reduce indigenous health worker and ability from chronic so cardiac this conditions team provides increasing access, access to services, support and knowledge to um, and better managing culturally safe cardiac care for our community. indigenous clients and by coordination so we meet the care. clients initially at the acute phase of illness so our multidisciplinary team for the Better Cardiac and Care Initiative consists of support clinical through out of discharge indigenous health worker and a pharmacist so as part of the Initiative. This team we provides uh, access, link support, and knowledge to evidence based culturally while they're in patients. Care. So, lots of our indigenous clients, clients don't have So, we meet GPs the clients initially uh, follow up at the acute phase of illness. So, we will link in into Aboriginal medical services and, and then provide and support in the quite local area and actually and arrange follow up. With that so as part of this in, initiative, seven days we actively uh, we also ensure that cardiology specialists follow while up they're in patient and arrange. So lots of our cohorts just definitely arrange before the uh, client follow up with the hospital. Uh, and then we so make we sure we link to um, Aboriginal medical um, services and, and GPs well. in the so client's in the local area, area and actually arrange follow up, coordinate that cardiology in care within seven days of discharge. And we also ensure that cardiology specialists follow up is attended and arranged before the. Uh, so the main strategy is before the client has the initiative, uh, and then we make sure we facilitate uh, services um, that are So as well. number one is our primary. So in the community, our team supports. So this is extremely important, and we focus a on our early for our patients, and we provide a link for to our cohort investigations. Um, well. We are looking at a cohort a lot. So the main strategy for the cardiovascular disease is on the five age in early thirties. So number one is our primary preventive care. Okay. So, so education this is extremely important and we focus a lot on our early um, cardiovascular risk assessment, assessment really for our cohort of clinical of patients of um, disease. So we want to be looking at a cohort a lot younger is the cardiovascular disease having those an onset of age earlier in early 30s and the peak of disease and the acute age of 55. So we want to see those patients having that guideline management that they can going in a primary prevention setting is extremely important. Ongoing care, clinical optimization of disease. So we want to timely Various management of heart disease and we've got failure. Oh, so it's having those investigations done earlier. In, in the community setting and remain and part of the acute episode. So we want to see something that we do having that guideline based therapy well. going through to the so we're wanting to um, strengthen the diet that they need. The notification and ongoing the care. So we're optimizing the health clients. status and provision of ongoing preventative management. So overall, the and service of the file evaluate. We're here to talk a little bit more about that to prevent and manage the cardiovascular health and rheumatic heart disease. We want to reduce the gap in cardiovascular disease that we do see here, particularly in as well. So we're wanting to strengthen the diagnosis. The rate of progression to the moderate or severe rheumatic heart disease clients. So from an so overall the service in the five um, pillars, we're here to know that lots of Aboriginal people feel uncomfortable, health. fearful or powerless we want to reduce the gap when they try to use the healthcare care system um, and, and often avoid going to hospital or even to the GP when they're very unwell. We want to reduce the rate of progression So that's come out of our better cardiac care measures for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders. So from a health system perspective, and we see that all the time in our failure to attend rates for follow-up appointments at GP and specialists when they try to use 
in the healthcare system. We see that we often uh, avoid going to hospital or, or even to the GP when they're the very setting. unwell. And we see that so that's come out of our better cardiac care measures for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders. So I guess people, uh, essentially these are support symptoms and of we a see that all the time. And so our that failure to support rates for follow up appointments and GP specialist outpatient appointments. So our model care there's a disconnection between culturally and clinically focused setting. So our average elsewhere we now have the key of our model care as well. And all so I guess our client interactions are culturally, culturally safe symptoms, symptoms of a health care system worker and service. They also have our support the pharmacist and um, nurse consultant, we want and we meet the clients in that. So our model phase of care of is very a trust uh, relationship to then extend focused. out into the community. So our Aboriginal health well. worker is at the key of our. So model we care. also support yeah, and all love. of our client interactions Sorry? are culturally safe with the support of our healthcare <laughs> worker. We also have our uh, obviously pharmacists. We also support and our patients who discharge we meet medical advice. In so that we have a plan of phase our approach to illness that as well and build the trust relationship. Uh, that is unfortunately something that we see settings. five times the rate of non-indigenous. So we also support uh, so a plan um, in place Sorry. for those for those patients right. who do discharge <laughs> against medical advice. Uh, although since the we also has support been our October, patients we've who only had one case medical um, advice. So we have a plan of approach to that as well because. Uh, that we is look at improving health literacy for our clients times as well. So we've developed many resources. Uh, so uh, we have one a plan of them, which we um, have placed for those for those patients, patients who patients do discharge against medical my heart wellness plan. Uh, so although this book was written started in, in October, October words, we've only had one uh, case in the inpatient um, which is written uh, patients support. describe exactly what's happened to them. We look at improving health literacy. What we did for our clients as well. So we've developed many resources. We've opened up that artery One of them, and then we have a lot of ongoing care. From the our GP, patients new GP our details will be in there with their so follow-up appointments and all of our patients' words, uh, contact and details, patients and then when they are uh, patients home describe exactly what we get them in for them, an assessment them within hospital, two weeks of what we did for them, to whether it be up. they came in with a heart attack, We've opened up that artery. We also send now. our GPs and then what's because the we're arranging here, these the GP appointments with the details will be in there with their follow up uh, and as we know all of our medical our care electronic care take details from the hospital and then when they don't go home and make it on time for the person we we'll get them in for an assessment. With so them we two also from the data to follow point of view will send you as the GP a briefing. We document. also send so our GPs because through we're arranging the situation of that appointment with a seven day hospital their medical and as we know a lot of times. Our electronic discharge summaries from the so hospital. So we want to provide you with the history there, make it on time the assessments that we, uh, so the investigations that we've done in the hospital, we will send you we'll also a the report, a briefing so document, your so your this just goes you through reports and the situation of that would be attached to so why they came to hospital, um, and then the hospital their medical recommendations from because a lot of times these clients So this document doesn't replace the electronic discharge summary, it's just the assessment that we, a briefing document so that we do in the hospital with and if you haven't we'll received also attach communication from so the hospital, your echo card, you your information that you need, and your medication report. profile will be attached to this. We have lots um, of brochures for all of our services from the um, and patient payment. resources. So, so this document doesn't reach out if you like the electronic discharge summary, it's your just practices. Uh, um, um, lots of our briefing clients, documents so that love these resources, they explain if you haven't received us very easily from the hospital, you have more than information that you need for that appointment. And we I have lots of brochures for all of our services and um, patient um, resources. From, from so their founding site, you started out if you would like us to provide any for your practices. practices. Um, they were able to show clients uh, love these resources. They explain how to get in touch with us very um, easily and increase in GP what each uh, uptake so and more than follow up, which is very important. As we know, um, and there's a lot and of I just wanted to there, show the results from the reduction in the hospital uh, AMI from the, from the founding site that started showing us that patient in 2015. They were able to show significant okay, reductions so now I want to focus in to on another program that we offer for our Aboriginal um, and increase in GP uh, uh, right here out of our chronic disease and post-acute As we know, um, and there's a lot of other stuff there, but it's our Mangali program. Uh, Mangali is the Uganda word for cotton tree, which traditionally was a source of making spears Okay, so now I want to focus on another program that we offer for our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander community. Run here out of our chronic disease and resource. 
across the Luxury Chain team at the Working Mangali Precinct. It's our Mangali uh, As you can program. see here, the Mangali, Mangali is a holistic approach to management, management which, which traditionally was a source It's run by a multidisciplinary uh, team here out of Rebeers and Streams and Boomerangs. For the we are people. able to so we aim to be a source like the Cotton Tree to provide the appointment knowledge and resources. We also offer education out in the community at Aboriginal As you can see here, the Mangali offers a holistic approach to managing chronic promotion and it's run by a multidisciplinary team here. So we focus on recognising signs and symptoms and changes in health and building that confidence uh, to work with health professionals. Appointments. All of our uh, programs are on the education of cultural support of our community as health workers and linking clients into the community, which is extremely important for ongoing prevention and continuation of care. So we, we develop health care signs and symptoms and changes in health, in health. So it's and all building that confidence the client would uh, like to, to work get out of this program moving forward. All of our programs are with the, the integration support of our to Indigenous health workers and linking clients into their connected community, our team which is here, extremely important as part for of ongoing the um, program, continuation of care. Health workers, we like develop say, health care that are specific for our clients and goals. So it's all about what the client would like to get out of this program moving forward. We also have clinical nurses, so once a the integration routine the to achieve the clinical that goal nurse is the first point of call uh, with the health our team to identify uh, as part of the Mangali goals program. We and have our plan in place. Workers, and then, and like I say, they are the city of MT, this MT program and, and provide our culturally Physiotherapists are a huge part. So, our physiotherapists we also have run clinical nurses. A so, once, once a referral week, has come she also through has one on one assessment. The clinical nurse is the first point of call to find out uh, with the health worker to identify those clients in that assessment. She might put them to a six place walk test and bring one other members in and brief training. It'll depend really on. On each different physiotherapists are a huge part. So then our physiotherapists run, run class with a gym, gym once on a week. Friday, she she also has one on one assessment with clients, clients or in a culturally safe space to find out the specific and what that client needs. In that assessment, she she'll might also, also organize home exercise walk programs. She might do sit stands, grip strength. I will talk a little bit more about that yarn and walk program, which will come in soon. She'll then refer them to our weekly gym class. We have our pharmacist Friday as part of our Mandali and Better Cardiac Care team to consult the cultural education space with our physiotherapy and clinical nurses education for all of our clients. She'll also organise she also runs the programs as well. Program, so which has been uh, I will talk a little bit more about our yarn and walk program. We have a dietitian as part of the team and our Mangali dietitian offers one on one appointments. We have our pharmacists as part of the Mangali and medical education, education consult and nutrition focus meal planning and medication education and we have our nurse now. She also runs so helping to support our programs through the health system. And especially, our, our, we have a dietitian as part of the team, and our Mangali dietitian over appointments one -on -one can be appointment very time very constructing. So our nurse navigator makes that very and nutrition focused meal planning so and our individual by so each client. And we have our nurse to our MDT so in the Mangali program. Through we can the also health system, especially our, our chronic disease cohort to program MDT. Know so that, that includes our diabetic very educators here at Ravina Health. So our Precinct. nurse navigator, our diatrics, that very occupational therapist, psychology, social workers, so exercise physiologists, and speech Additionally, to our MDT that's really in the Mangali program, program as well. we can also to skip refer ahead to, to show you that. our chronic disease and processes. These are the programs that we offer. So that includes our diabetic programs frequently here at Ravina So we have our elders, our podiatrists, occupational therapists, psychology. Social it offers work a five week exercise physiology program and with we have a cultural activity. I think that's really eating, important to remember. Chronic disease as well. and medication and education and that. physical activities for our clients. These are the programs that we offer. So we do education wellness programs frequently. So we have our elders for our clients and daily wellness programs. We have a yarning circle. It offers a five week community based program. We have a cultural activity. We actually started our program chronic disease and medication education and physical activities for our clients. We also run a deadly this track is at at Calwood and Medical uh, and Calwood Wellness um, Centre where um, so it's a beautiful PhD space funding has come through from the Yarn and we Walk out program, Miranda. which will be offered we have to our clients every week to talk about um, a supervised physiotherapist-led exercise so, session. Uh, we actually follow by a Yarning Circle out next to the Oval in the Sunshine under the trees. So that'll be We also run a deadly track education half day as well as the gym on Friday. This is where our thank you PhD funding is come through by the Yarn and Walk program, which will be 
offered to our clients I would like to now show you a video um, supervised um, physiotherapist leg exercise session followed by a yarding circle out at Chetnam Oval in the sunshine under the trees so that'll be lovely for our clients in a, as well as the gym on Friday they'll have, now have this option on Monday Jingari Jimbalang hello friends in the local Yukon Bay language I would like to I am Jody Gerard the advanced um, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander chronic disease health worker the Mangali service supports Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people manage their chronic disease. As a member of the team, I can support you to access specialist okay. nursing and allied health professions. Jingari Jimbala. Hello, your friends in the local I work alongside clinical I am Jody Gerard, the advanced Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander chronic disease health worker. The Mangali service, the Mangali service a range of supports Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, program, a community based disease focus program. As a member of the team, I can support you to access specialist nursing and allied health professions education whilst working on physical activity. I the work Mangali alongside clinical nurses, listen to your story, therapists, develop a plan and dietitian focus on the health the issues. The Mangali service offers a range of programs. We have, we have the, the Mangali Deadly exercise Wellness class, Program, a community based with client an focus program exercised by program you to be based on your the healthiest needs. version of you. We also this have five a weekly track program education, program, education, which is a half and day collective education session. The Mangali Wellness Clinic. I've been attending the Mangali Clinic now for many, many years. And focus on the wonderful service that are most important to Made many, many friends. We have the Mangali exercise program. I keep Weekly telling classes all my with friends an individual to come exercise and I've many good based friends on your needs. The program. We also we have a little track our education and program, and which is I a half day chronic disease education session. Because because it's a wonderful program. Wonderful program. I've been attending if the you'd Mangali like more information now on how many, to refer into a Mangali service, it's a wonderful contact service. The on the I've made many, many friends. The staff are wonderful. Okay. I keep telling all my friends to come and I've well, met rich. many so good friends along, through I the program. We learn all about our health and well-being and I encourage everyone to come along because it's a wonderful program. If you'd like more information on how to refer into a Mangali service, please contact the number on the screen. Outpatient diagnostic service, which is target, targeted to clients okay. who are falling or at risk of falls. The MDT well, associated so moving with this clinic, which is run here out of our female precinct, other our chronic disease and post-acute programs rehabilitation that might be applicable to your clinical clients. nurse consultant, the pharmacist and, and physiotherapist. The clinic is run here out of so, our being a health uh, precinct. I thought that was important said, to mention to Mary, our patient diagnostic service, which is this clinic actually does require a GP or a risk for allied health. The MDT associated with this clinic, which is run here out of being a health precinct, our geriatrician, program, or rehabilitation specialist, who may benefit from clinical nurse consultant, we will write to you with and a GDA therapist. Uh, so I suggest potentially uh, I thought that you was might look at referring to tonight, in. considering the topic that we we're also have a cognitive disorder. This clinic actually service does require a GP here at a Rosa Allied Health Precinct. Refer straight in. Eligibility for the service we identify is over clients through our program, the Mangali program, or better cardiac care. Um, characterized we may benefit from the clinic. clinic. We will write to you and or memory impairment. Uh, and so suggest potentially it's not in relationship with in relation to personality disorders. We also have a cognitive disorder clinic service. So there's a few run here at a Eligibility criteria for the service. Eligibility for this again, service is for the program, program years, which has a comprehensive multidisciplinary team problems. approach um, with a specialist consultant, clinical nurse, and neuropsychologist. So and speech um, it's not in relationship, so very in relation to uh, personality uh, disorders or illicit drug health. use or pre-existing brain injury. So there's a few once again um, any information you would like for your service, but it's on once any of again, our programs, diagnostic program reach out, which has a comprehensive and our referral team approach. Normally, with a specialist consultant. In clinical nurse, any of your programs are discussed, and please go to refer so your patient website uh, and, uh, and our preferred method of referral, referral for all of our chronic disease and post acute programs. Once again, any information you would like for your um, practices on any of our solution, but if that's not a software that you have and access our referrals, to, you can always send referrals through to our ETA if you want any information on provided, any of the programs and um, discussed, any questions at all with any of the programs, please sign up. Call our one number and our preferred method of referral for all of our chronic information and post acute so moving forward, thank you so much for your time um, this evening. Um, workflow solutions, but if that's not our Aboriginal way that you have access to, clients, you can always send care referrals care through to our Bali. intake hub please think on of the these services provided. when you are seeing And um, any questions at any all, questions any of the programs, please uh, call our 1300 number um, and we can provide any information. So moving forward, thank you so much for your time this evening um, and listening great. to our new thank services for our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander clients. Uh, Better cardiac care and Mangali. Please think of these services um, when you are seeing your clients. Look, it's been fantastic listening, questions, to, please please out, options, it's been fantastic listening to all of the referral options that are now available. Uh, and the, the Gold Coast Primary Health Network has uh, invested in. Um, so we'd like to um, 
take, take some thank questions you very much, from uh, the Amy, audience that's tonight. That's uh, fantastic. Uh, uh, great I'd joy uh, to Susan uh, or to um, Amy. Look, it's um, been so fantastic while, listening to um, all of the referral options that are now available. Or if you want to, the Gold Coast Primary Health Network has sent your hand up. Invested in. So we'd like to then unmute. Take some questions. Question from uh, the audience as well. Right. But Joyce, uh, uh, Joyce, one I'd like to put to you uh, first Susan, up. Um, you uh, mentioned referrals uh, from um, a GP. So what well, about the, uh, the um, hardworking the primary care well, nurses um, that are put seeing a question in the chat. Uh, many of our um, older patients? Or if you want to, uh, um, um, tell just, me how uh, uh, they can make a referral. Put your hand up. Um, yeah, great and, uh, asking then that. Unmute, um, then we'll take a Chris, question. Absolutely. Uh, live the as well. nurses. But Joyce, um, uh, one I'd like to put to you first up. Be um, you mentioned of referrals. The referral uh, process because they're the, the ones uh, the that will be seeing the patients for some of the care plan assessments, uh, many of our older the health patients. assessments. Uh, um, so tell me how uh, I suppose, they can make a you know, to help too. the GPs out, yeah, they're right at the forefront of um, that. Chris, so they absolutely would be the, very nurses you know, important um, to this pathway of identification. So that of the referral um, process had been the completed the by seeing the patients the, uh, for GP, some of their care plan assessments, the practice nurse, the health and then you know, the so doctor can be highlighted. I suppose to, of, you know, the, the program the GPs reminded out there right at and the, the doctor forefront can of also, that. Um, so they would be basically completed, you know, co completed with the nurse and then way of identification. So that form right. okay. and the other question, um, can be completed by a the, um, uh, GP electronic uh, practice nurse or, you know, and then form you know the doctor objects. can be highlighted um, really of the, the program reminded signature? of it and yeah, the doctor no, when can I also sign off um, by the doctor. It's literally completed by the doctor. That's probably the better word. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Right. Okay. It's and all, as question, I said, the uh, RTF form will be converted the, in the software. Uh, so just auto populate the details, just so we know who, as long as we know who the um, collaborating really refers are, where, um, yeah, no, when I can sign off by the doctor, it's literally approved by the doctor. That's probably the better word. Yeah, absolutely. It's all, as I said, the RTF in the southern form will be converted Coast, in the um, software. Around, so uh, just the auto area. populate your details just so Which we know who, as long as we know who the collaborating referrers uh, are, where uh, um, that's, the, that's the all we need. Area. Yeah, we can right. access. Um, I've got a, a question um, I'll, I'll here for the others quickly uh, because we can um, access what the pool and get our community centre, which we Gold used to, Coast, and it, it depends around, on the demand. Uh, the so we're area. we're kind of going to go which where the people are. The We've also got the mobile service as well. So in the uh, early days when we started the. Pain program. Yeah, we can access. Um, um, it was oh, all across oh, yeah, it was the other quickly because uh, we can the access and call the and get, get up. You guys uh, may remember that up. from the day we used now, to. Progressively, and it, it depends on the demand. So we're, we're kind, kind of um, going to go where the people are. Come into the, the Rabina area because patients well. so actually in the early told days when we that it was more convenient. The, um, even the pain program. Now I understand this is a different kind of It was all across. So I think feel free to refer in and get up. Some of you guys may remember that from the days now. Well for those who we've actually their, you know, risk kind of um, high risk will to come into the Rabina area might. because patients actually you, told us so, uh, that it was um, more convenient, Amy, even the southerners. Now, I understand this is a different cohort so of we, patients, uh, so well, I think so feel free to refer in and we can and certainly look at the demand. And there's home base as well for those who need it for their, you know, risk assess. High risk will certainly start in their homes. Thank you, Amy. What about uh, your servicing of the Northern Gullingata Tweed area? area. And so we, we are a mobile service as well, so we can attend cardiac rehabilitation home home visits programs. with our MDT. They offer what and we also do is if anyone's in uh, Northern New South Wales, like bring so over the border, we refer to our walk services that are um, New South Wales activity and education programs and clients. And our education programs that we run in the Northern Tweed area. I think it's a very valid point that we should be looking at potentially leading some of those programs that they offer. The so coast small so small people people down there. But so it's an excellent point to bring up because that. in terms of our walking out, Susan, exercise uh, and physical what about, activity uh, and education programs service, uh, um, and our education programs that we run. So Absolutely. So um, we're a new program. I think program. it's a very valid point. Um, so that initially we, we won't. We're going to focus our efforts in some of those programs um, to that South Port and Rabina. Part of that was based on demographics. But once we get the model right, 
Hey, um, we're Susan, considering providing uh, some outreach what about, uh, your programs to service, uh, um, depending on need. The benefit with where we are absolutely and so right um, off the freeway, we're in the um, program. And um, to the so initially right we were going to focus our efforts well served, um, in public South transport, transport and Rabina, and part of that was based on the demographics. Uh, well, but once a, we get the model right, point, being um, we're considering providing uh, some outreach like programs that are at an depending on need. The benefit with where we are at Rabina, those were right off the freeway, and the bond As we pointed to the out earlier, right that there are various parts of the coast that have a lot more older people than other public areas. But, you know, again, it's it's pretty. Oh, well, uh, I think it's a, much a pretty a key board, point being it, accessible. Um, uh, so I guess like any yeah, the other, services the other issue that are is the, the demarcation of the Gold Coast Primary Health Network and the border. And uh, uh, of course, as yes, we pointed so out, funding is the cross the boundaries. The coast has a lot more older people than other. Amy, thank you for your ability to cross the boundary. It's it's pretty. Much um, so yes, that is, that, is uh, uh, often a frustrating to, um, so frustration to a surgeon. Yeah, the other, the other, other issue is the, the demarcation uh, of the Gold Coast Primary um, Health Network and the border. What about the GPs or the nurses that are on the call? Uh, what about yes, some other so questions funding doesn't about cross the boundaries groups? groups or about uh, Amy, thank you for your ability to cross the boundary. Um, Joyce, Amy, and um, Susan, so yes, that is a, 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 often a frustrating um, to, frustration to us as GPs uh, when Dr. it comes Kish, to referral uh, to see uh, criteria. Um, what about uh, any, any questions GPs you'd like or the to put that to the panel tonight what about, about some other your questions patients? about any specific patient groups you'd like to un or unmute? about recognition of frailty that uh, um, Joyce, Amy, and Susan uh, you may just be need able to unmute. respond. Um, uh, hello, Dr. Kish. Uh, good to see Sorry, you. Sorry, I was on mute. Uh, yeah, the, thank, you for, thank you, everyone, like for all your presentations. Yeah, about, they, uh, I, your mean, patients. I don't have any specific questions. So if you'd like it's, to un uh, unmute. Yeah, thank you for bringing this to our practices. And uh, looks like um, uh, our patients are really getting benefited, particularly the tools being implemented in over 75 health Sorry, I was on mute. Uh, which are now yeah, linked thank to you for, Thank you, everyone, medicals. for all your presentations. So in our yeah, practice, yeah, as a I mean, policy, I don't if have any specific haven't done the health assessment, it's, we won't uh, give you the yeah, driving Thank clearance. you for bringing this and to the health assessment. We are following and, through all of these, unless like, it's mandatory. Uh, our patients uh, are these really things are not getting uh, benefited, happening. particularly the tools and, being implemented in over 75 So everything is going great. I don't have any specific questions. Which are now linked to driving medicals. more of a refresher. So in our practice, as a Sounds policy, like if you haven't done the health assessment, tomorrow. we won't give you oh, the yeah, driving yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> and the health assessment, yeah, we are yeah, following through practice, all of these, uh, unless it's we mandatory. Quite um, a few, these things are uh, not elderly uh, patients happening. And uh, thank you, yeah, uh, so everything is going great. Thank I don't have Hello, any specific Jane, questions. Uh, seems yeah, like it's hi, more of a refresher. Thank you. It's been a really interesting Sounds like you've got plenty of people Did I hear you right saying you're only a frail scale score of one to be practice relatively, we have Quite because a few, uh, uh, elderly everyone, patients. everyone is That's tired. Thank you, Dr. Kish. So Thank that you. means my Hello, whole Jane, patient population yeah, qualified. qualified. Thank you. It's been a is really, really interesting evening. A, a Did I hear one? you right saying so you only need Jane, a frail the, the reason that uh, score if we look, go back to the Morley frail uh, scale that we talked about earlier, because uh, where since everyone, the everyone of, is tired, uh, you know. A healthy so ageing is if we can, if we can start early um, on that uh, trajectory. Is that really all you need? Um, a, a score that, of one. Then, then you'll make the biggest so inroads. The, Jane, the, I think the that's one of the really important uh, areas. Go back to the so, morally frail. Um, uh, you know, there are a lot of people who are earlier, at high um, risk of developing frailty. Essentially, the evidence of fatigue um, is you know, often a healthy ageing. Is if we can early start early, that you can start on that trajectory. Start doing less. You that become then, more then you'll make the biggest trees. I think that's one of the, the really important areas here. So, uh, um, yeah, there are a lot of people who are at high quickly. risk of developing so frailty. So it's, it's like the thin and end of the wedge. We pick that up early. Um, so is often pre -frail a is one, of the one and two, and early frail signs is three or more. So this doing pre frail group, as you start is doing less, under recognised in our practices, more interestingly, there are a lot of and for the forty-nine year olds, thirty percent of that group are actually in the pre frail area. So it's, right it's like the thin end of the wedge. We pick that up early. So been working pre frail uh, with is one researchers in Adelaide. Frail is three so or more. A, so this pre frail more, group um, 
is actually under recognised in our practice uh, have type 2 diabetes there are a lot of, uh, and have BMI to 49 year old 30 um, 30 percent of that slowing group down are their activity levels uh, right and now. are becoming looking at some the pre frail studies so I've actually been working so you've got uh, with some researchers in Adelaide on this so our, it's a very, especially as more um, well, of so our that, 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 that's what are, we're testing uh, have type 2 um, diabetes and have BMI over 30 slowing down their activity Never levels, replaces good uh, clinical and judgment. They're becoming, okay. and they're in that Thank you. No. If you've got so somebody got who, you know, is socially isolated, they might have lost a partner. Well, you know, so that's what know, we're testing. Yeah. Um, just in, in, in combination with that, that one, though, we, sure. we've got. I don't have, have to do a full risk, risk assessment. So no, score never replaces. I just look at judge that. They look a bit dodgy on their feet. You know. Um, if you've got somebody who, yeah. you know, is socially so isolated, I wouldn't get might have too hung up on the score, but I looked at that and I qualified. You okay. know, risk and hospitalisation, yeah. there I'll, are I'll in combination with that. Again. Sure. Oh, thank I you, Jack. I guess the main thing assessment. too is without you know, opening the floodgates, it's really so I just the look at them and say they look a bit dodgy uh, on their feet. Over 65. Um, um, the GPs uh, would be the same. In, uh, the, uh, yeah. Yes. Um, First so Nations I wouldn't group, get too uh, hung up on the score, but I looked at that and I qualified. Can I just also okay. clarify and just um, 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 uh, of course these services are new. Thank you, Jack. I guess the main thing too is without opening the floodgates. Trying to sit there referring and going who's who in the zoo and who do I go to? Look. I think uh, the, um, uh, because um, we're Nations providers group, uh, funded by the PHN on the GC, can I just also we clarify will and be just, communicating um, um, of course regularly, you know, new, catching um, up. And so sometimes that's a plan anyway. Trying to sit so there referring and going, you, who's who in the zoo and who feel do the I patients go at to? risk, whether clinically Look, observations think, or through um, the tools. Because we're to one of providers, us, because at least what we'll do is again on the GC, of us, we'll share it. We will each other. be we communicating about that. We've agreed about um, that. And so regularly, really you know, to not catching up over things. So that's a plan anyway. Don't. We so early I think if you um and there may be some feel overlap the patients at risk whether clinically find, observations um, or through the tools and send it into one of us early because at least what we'll do is if it's not appropriate for any one of us we'll share it amongst each other we've we'll, we'll, we'll talked about that you know, people about having that. a higher so priority I think that's really important to not medication review <laughs> and so that, that may don't, don't come into we can early but then after a while we're um, in and there may be some overlap feel like look it's actually better to referring to you know Susan services that we can sort of also do that just depending on the priority but I the option sometimes I appreciate potentially and this is also from some of the feedback from having done the same pain services I think you, sometimes it's a bit and overwhelming that may for the nurse us, or the but practitioner out there, when the GP to go, oh, done, and who now like, you've look, suddenly got a better great menu, menu referring to you're wondering who and then Susan's services, might, then we can sort of also happen, do that, just depending on the, the so priority, but I think just get it through, and then we'll certainly be um, um, sorting it out and some of the feedback back from, to you if it's having done the right pain services, I think I appreciate sometimes it's a bit overwhelming and so the nurse or the practitioner out there, the GP to go, oh, who now, you've suddenly got this great menu, and you're wondering who, and then you might um, refer to happen Susan because you're thinking used, about it. Uh, so I think just get it through and then we'll certainly be um, sorting it out game. and communicating back to and you. If it's, one of the, we weren't the really right one, you'll be aware, back to, go to this one instead patients, and so on and so really forth. Yeah. To them. What, what's I think the number what's one thing on their three list that of our service achieve. providers tonight now, And that's actually really a team sport. With a patient at the centre going, right, these are the things that I really want to achieve. And often it requires a team to actually deliver on that to help support them through that. And one of the really important Thing is so I think what we've actually got to ask tonight is just some what fantastic really matters to them. Them. What, what's exactly the number one thing on their list um, that they want to achieve? Like just now, and that's actually to a team sport that with the patient um, the centre going, right, these are the things that I really want to achieve. So patients will actually um, get and often the best it requires a team for themselves to actually uh, deliver on that. Um, uh, the lovely video that the best version of themselves can only come So I think what we've actually heard tonight is just some fantastic offerings of exactly that word. It's not like... So is there anything else you'd like to add referring to one to reflect uh, um, it's this lovely team approach. No, so that I think you're right um, because we're time limited. But our intention as, uh, is when we do um, our assessments uh, the video, the, the, the is then identifying a, a, a management pathway uh, post program um, and then with sort of opportunities for events. So, what, so while we're promoting it as a group point, program, what that is is an entry point 
to other individualised no, assessments. No, I think you're right so, um, because um, we're time Dr. Kish, I think it was talked about is driving. When we do our assessments, um, we are looking at running a is driving assessment plan because that's a skill set that occupational therapists do. And then with and it's opportunities when for we talk events. about so while, so while we talk about promoting it as a behaviour program, what that is is that very symbolic to other individualised assessments. About is when they lose their license. Dr. Kish, I think it was talked about having those conversations. So we are looking at running a driving assessment plan. Um, because that's the I, skill I'm set that the occupational therapists do it, and it's something and that when we talk about frailty, we talk about framework, framework, behaviour, that this is about that very symbolic thing that people yourself. get quite upset about is when um, they lose their licence. as long as you can and um, staying out of and nursing homes. And having those conversations, and that, and that's so what the government it's wants really and what the PHM wants. Healthcare, um, and being treated and humanely and compassionately, compassionately which Joyce and I just started off, I think, and trying to we're all very compassionate frameworks. That this about is about what we do being your best uh, and we want yourself. these people to feel welcome because um, when you look at that living as though you can Chris and staying out of nursing of homes and, that, and that's ultimately you what know, the I government pick wants so many what holes in how that lady's care was yeah. managed and being treated humanely and compassionately exactly. which Joyce you know Joyce and, started and I off the, I think the thing. if we then we're all very compassionate all us, uh, and passionate <laughs> about what we do and we want these people to feel welcome because when you look at that video you had Chris of Mrs Andrews you know I could pick so many holes in how that lady's care was managed. Then, um, what you're offering is, is exactly is a way and forward. I think that's, the, you know, that's, that's a really thing. rare opportunity for all of us to have uh, such an integrated approach to better care. Um, as you mentioned, potentially a many of the medical models for that all of our training as, as so we've got to start is thinking is at our earlier age that often acute uh, illness we personally do. Now that we're looking at multi morbidity, then add that what you're offering is this experience of actually a really rare opportunity where we've got the physical such as the integrated that approach change, to as well as care. the functional yeah, as you mentioned so with, this with many of the medical of that all of our of medical issues as, as GPs physiological is, is as all about well as the function of acute illness and disease. so that needs now we're looking at multi morbidity add not that to, as we've already said it's not um, more this experience more medication it's actually of aging, probably less medication where we've got the physiological issues that, that change we do to as well as the functional issues so there's this great yeah and it's about changing perceptions I mean a lot of you know I know my generation well as the you know, you think you're going to the gym and that you're going so to walk out looking like Arnie Schwarzenegger. Out. It's, you know, no, it's about it, pumping iron. Said, so it's, more, it's changing attitudes that it's, it's not like that. Less the activity and exercise takes many forms. Can we do to help improve and it's a profession on its own. Yeah, There's and it's about very, changing perceptions. I mean, a lot of, so, you know, it's I know my generation, you know, with the pharmacology. You think you're going to the gym that you're going to walk out looking like Arnie Schwarzenegger. You know, it's about pumping iron. So it's changing attitudes of that's not like that. And activity if we can and exercise provide, takes many forms, you know, some additional information. And it's that a helps profession on its own, own with a very, very solid through, scientific um, base. Particularly because so we're using it's students, integrating students that, all the you know, time with the pharmacology, world. with the, um, to do the a mental health and well-being, you know, with the physical assessment ability and, to you. And, and, you know, and we found the GPs through the pilot the studies of that, that we've care. done. And, that the and if we people can respond provide, very favourably to that, you know, because they see the solution that helps you with your ongoing management, management of them through, to learn, um, particularly um, because so, we're using you know, students, that, that students that's have another all benefit the time in, in the world. terms of moving forwards. Um, but training our students, you know, GPs are our you know, friend, friend, assessment um, and interview. How do we work with them? And, and we found through some of our pilot studies that we've done that the older people respond very favourably to that because they see the students as their grandchildren and they want to help them to learn. As we know, so you know that. That's another benefit in terms of moving forwards, but training our students, training you know, students. GPs are our so friends. So the opportunity to actually um, have we work uh, with people them from and the community when you where graduate, the majority of people you know, live these are some and services functions and strategies for, that you can use. Um, our students I mean, to I actually, actually access really enjoyed uh, your, um, and, and thought on the developing people world in this community. Is just as we know that unfortunately our lovely hospitals are often the main area whereby all three programs are being introduced. So the opportunity to actually have people from the community where the majority of people live up to, but and one last question for you, which I think for, um, um, some of the GPs to actually access, uh, thought about while you were presenting and, and is help support people a in mental the health care plan may be um, required so yeah, clearly, to access um, lots of bonuses in by your team. all three programs now, being knowing introduced. That there's often now, a long Joyce, wait just before we finish, because I'm looking at time, um, it's uh, uh, to around about individually time, but one last question for you, which I think anywhere some of the GPs and nurses might have thought about while you were presenting is the opportunity to say, right, mental health care plan may 
may be screening required to access you actually have some access that team. won't be a six month now, wait. Now, knowing that there's often a long wait That's correct. for correct. Absolutely. Um, yep. Yep. Us same to with our pain services as well. That's the same services. thing. We've collaborated um, anywhere actually with, around Australia um, currently. Yeah, highlighted, um, collaborated, so you know, our stakeholders, say, right, with um, my older our person teams are interested in working in this space. Yeah, that is correct. And also, in addition to that, many of them, and I also understand that. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. As Same well, with because there is gap services as well. well. That's the so same thing. Not We've to collaborated say that all of them will be bought with because um, we do yeah, highlighted, um, collaborated, uh, you know, no gap holders. However, um, our teams are interested they're, they're, in working in this space. Yeah, kind of that is correct. In this, and also, um, in, this in addition to that, um, um, that is kept really, many really of them minimal. And I also understand this really cost you very hard to do because there is gap these as well. We've so, got not to that say that all of them will have to because we do that for um, sure. So that's on a case uh, on no case, case fee, I mean. But however, yeah, in the, mm -hmm. the, 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 um, the can I just also kind of add that, you know, hopefully, um, in this partnership, to what you guys are uh, saying, we can have really, really minimal, and most of them we're really, you know, using development work that as well. Because people interested in that space that we can also try to or co help with that as well. So that's a different seniority, but I think it'd be lovely, yeah. Mm -hmm. Potentially to see um, as students are at their what, you know, what level students um, with regards what to what Susan you guys were saying with the workforce you know, kind of getting into their senior years using now, developed they, workforce um, and be really bought to interested kind of, in that space, you know, in also partner them them out already to the workforce um, so that you know, with going seniority, to be looking for workforce, I think it'd be lovely um, and well potentially to see as students and I don't know well exposed level students like this, right? So Susan, but I imagine that cost over kind of getting these kids to their senior years are <laughs> the they students are going to be really good to kind of work and you know I also think there's nothing better out. than to the work that we've already got that is going to be looking for always looking for who's had exposure and well trained training. Training. so it exposed. could very well be a nice well exposed to things like that this, right? beginning so there could be that crossover because these kids are, um, well, how okay, well, kids are they? Um, <laughs> these students we'll are going to be looking to for work. And, uh, and I think there's nothing now, better Katie, than workforce that we've already got the, working the that space, but team. always looking for um, who's had exposure, that, uh, who's trained. So it could very well be a uh, nice health, health ecosystem, the ecosystem the that's beginning. Up fairly soon. Yes. Excellent. Job. Yes, that's right. Um, um, thank you okay, so well, much, everyone um, who's come along maybe um, today. And, to Katie um, and uh, uh, deep appreciation to our speakers, now, Katie, as I said last earlier in the night, the, for giving the up their time to come along. Team. I think it's been um, um, really that, uh, interesting the, uh, and helpful, uh, even for me, Network listening in will have the um, templates on uh, uh, the different services and the work that you're doing. Thank you so much, everyone. So, in the next coming days, we'll have the referral templates or information on referring into each of the services in the night for giving up their time our, to come along uh, PHN and website been, and um, we'll send really out um, interesting and helpful even for me um, listening to in to provide those um, links as well uh, on uh, um, the different so services um, and the work as, that you're all um, doing you have all attended um, tonight you'll get so in the next coming days uh, we'll have the referral templates um, or information uh, on referring into each of the services on our PHN website and we'll send out information to general practice email or phone and we're more than happy um, so um, watch this space but and as that, um, you so have all attended we'll tonight you'll get an email too that links to that evening. referral information thank you all very much um, I, I think that's it if there is the anything else um, that you would oh, like to follow up with sorry. PHN please always uh, reach out to our hey, practice support so good um, evening email everybody or phone. Um, thanks so much for coming along tonight to, um, my name is Katie Garrett I'm a program coordinator for the Gold Coast Primary Health Network and work in our aged care and palliative care space um, so I just wanted to firstly thank you to everyone for attending tonight. Um, 